Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if your Wi-Fi network is not working on the laptop but it's working on other devices in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to simply restart your equipment and laptop. First of all you can restart your laptop, so press the Windows button, then click on the power icon and then choose the restart option. Afterwards you can check if the problem still persists. In the meanwhile you can go and restart your router by unplugging it for a few minutes and then plugging it back in. You can then also check if the problem is solved. Moving on, another useful solution is to reinstall the network drivers. To do this, right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in here, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand the network adapters and afterwards right click on the Wi-Fi network driver you own and select the Properties option. In here, click on the Driver tab and as you can see, you have a comprehensive list of the options you can choose. First of all, you can update the driver. This will update the driver for this device and then you can simply check if the problem still persists. And lastly, if nothing works, you can also uninstall the device. Once you uninstall the device, you will see that after restarting your PC, the driver will be reinstalled automatically. So you can check again if the problem is solved. Another great solution is to run the Internet Connection Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the Settings icon, and afterwards make sure to click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot section and click on it. In here, click on Other Troubleshooters, and lastly make sure to click on the Run button next to Internet Connections. Now Windows will try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then close these windows, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to renew the IP and flush the DNS. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but press enter after each command. Now you can simply close command prompt and then try to connect to your Wi-Fi again. And lastly, another useful solution is to change the power adapter settings. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Edit Power Plan and make sure to select it from the search results. Now in here, make sure to click on the Change Advanced Power Settings and in the Power Options window, scroll down until you find the Wireless Adapter Settings, expand it, then again expand Power Saving Mode and make sure that both on battery and plugged in, the setting is selected to maximum performance. Now you can just click on apply and OK, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.